God expects that you stay chaste and refuse to compromise despite all the pressures that come your way. That is how to show your maturity in God. Hello, good morning. Welcome to KHC Radio Devotional for 30th of September. And we are looking at a topic titled How to Stop Pressures from Taking Pleasures Out of Your Relationships and Marriage. In 2 Corinthians 4 8, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Pressure is anything that exerts undue strength in a negative way on the mind, reducing productivity. Pressures, especially in relationships, usually affect the mind adversely. An issue becomes a pressure when it brings mental distress. The pressures of life and relationships are very real. It is better to be prepared for any inevitable challenge before they emerge. In this way, you will be pressure-proof. Before entering a relationship, understand that it has its own challenges, just like every other thing. One effective way of handling pressure is to focus your thoughts on things that give you inner strength, rather than those that generate so much negative energy, draining life away from you. The law of attraction explains it beautifully. It says that you attract into your life your most dominant thoughts. In other words, you will have what you always think about. Your thoughts can either be a source of pressure or excitement. If you focus on the negative sides of situations, you attract more negativity into your life. Supposing you are faced with financial challenges in your relationship and you need more money to enable you to attend to some present issues, it will be wrong to focus your mind on regrets of absence of money. This will cause pressures in your mind. It is rather more beneficial to see yourself living in abundance, no matter how ridiculous and crazy it may seem, given prevalent external circumstances. Your thoughts make things, they create things, and you can build and you can make your beautiful imaginations to work out. You can simply eradicate all forms of pressure in your mind by refocusing your mind on positive things. There are several causes of pressure in relationships, including fear and uncertainty. The fear of getting the right spouse who wouldn't treat you harshly or abuse or jilt you is, is a terrible source of pressure. There's also the fear of not meeting and having your right spouse in time. The right way to handle this fear and this pressure is to focus your mind on the truth that God has the right spouse for you and he or she will come at God's appointed time. Fear can immobilize and incapacitate. Fear can also cause you to hasten unnecessarily into dangerous terrains. Whichever way, you need to know that God has not given you the spirit of fear. Don't end up in marrying an unbeliever because of fear of getting old. You cannot try to fix a pressure by violating God's injunctions. It's not going to work out that way. You cannot jump ahead of God's timing and expect things to work out. At the end of the day, what you venture into out of fear keeps the process elongated. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of sound mind. Cast out the spirit of fear and trust your Father to give you the best. Then we have comparison traps. Another dangerous source of pressure is comparing yourself with your friends and colleagues, especially when they are all either engaged or married. You can either be strengthened or intimidated by your friends. Do not be intimidated. Understand that you are uniquely different from every other person. Your destiny is quite different from theirs, so your life story is also different. A friend's success should not determine your direction. It is comparison traps that often drive one into adulterous relationships, all in the bid to belong or to meet financial pressures. Avoid this trap as much as possible, because when you keep trying to like everybody else, you will be like nobody at the end of the day. In 2 Corinthians 10, 12, the Bible says, For we dare not make ourselves of the number 
or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves, they are not wise. Then we have parental pressure. Parents usually wish to see their grandchildren on time. Also, they get anxious about your success in life and wouldn't want you to miss out on any advantage of life so they feel it's due to you at any particular point in time. This can also constitute pressures. Do not yield to such pressures just to satisfy your parents when you know in your heart that God isn't leading you yet. You cannot please your parents at the expense of God. Your parents cannot sustain your marriage. It is only God that can. While it is good to obey and listen to your parents according to the scripture, you cannot obey them when what they are asking you to do clearly violates the principles of God. Environmental and media pressure. A lot of destinies are warped today because of warped outlook of a given society at any point in time. We live in a sexualized age aided by print and media broadcasts which makes available pornographic and other sinful materials. However, the environment is not an excuse in any way, as God expects that your light shine forth in the midst of darkness. God expects that you stay chaste and refuse to compromise, despite all the pressures that come your way. That is how to show your maturity in God. As married couples, you will always face a lot of pressures from in-laws, from work, or even from your spouse. What is important is to learn to cast your care upon Jesus because he cares for you. Don't hibernate into your cocoon of self and me when pressured. Remember you are now married. It's not all about you again, but about the two of you. Meditation for the day. James 1.13 Don't let anyone under pressure to give in to evil and say God is trying to trip me off. God is impervious to evil and puts evil in no one's way. Prayer for the day number one, Lord, give me strength daily to withstand every kind of pressure in the name of Jesus. Prayer number two, O Lord, and grace me with wisdom for my marriage. Prayer number three, Spirit divine, teach me all things in the name of Jesus. Confession for the day, I refuse to stay under pressure of any kind. I am in control through the Spirit of God. I exercise authority over all situations and circumstances in Jesus' name. I will not crumble under pressures in the name of Jesus. I do not give in to any form of fear. I know the God who knows the future, so I stay with Him. I am a wise being, so I do not compare my life with others. Action plan for the day. Identify all sources of stress and work towards eliminating them one at a time. Chronological Bible reading for today, Luke 5, 1 to 39, Mark 1, 40 to 45, Mark 2, 1 to 22, Matthew 8, 1 to 4, Matthew 9, 1 to 17. Uh, this particular devotional is taken from a singles devotional book for the month of September. You can get uh, a paperback edition or Kindle edition on Amazon. And you can also get a digital edition on Okada Books. To get the books, navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandox.com slash books. Also, we'd like you to partner with us on Kisses and Ox Club. It will enable us to reach more people in order to give with different options available from anywhere in the world. Kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandox.com slash give. Also, if you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like to welcome you to worship with us if you don't have a place of worship yet. Uh, Sundays, 8 o'clock, and the church is Shouts of Grace Center at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Bodiga, UI Road. You can miss it. Also, uh, we want to intimate you of our devotional website, which is at kissesandox.com. God bless you. Thanks for joining today. See you tomorrow. Bless you.